In the last video, we took an empty storage space and converted it to a shower floor. So here's how the pop-up shower works. Move the cushion. Pull on a strap. And do a bungee cord. Bring the shower rod up. And there's your shower. Here are the components to my water supply and pump system. Now all of these were carefully stored underneath on the shower floor. When I brought it up, I just brought them up and put them on the table. So you don't need extra sp uh, space to store these. It, it goes with the shower. Uh, the main components are the, uh, the water container, the, uh, the pump, and the shower head. The water container, I'm using a 15 liter or 4 gallon container. Uh, it's made by Woods, but you can use anything uh, compatible. I don't need all that water. I never bring it up to four gallons. I usually only go about halfway for a shower. Uh, to heat it up, I've got a 65 watt uh, heating element, a submersible heating element I picked up online. Uh, it takes about two or three hours to heat up to uh, enough for a shower, but that's good enough. And it's, it runs right off 12 volts. The pump itself is a 12 volt micro diaphragm pump. It's 60 watts, uh, does about five liters per minute, which is a lot. Uh, it's a little noisy, that's why I've got it in a, uh, in a plywood box. So the inlet goes to the water container. Uh, I'm using 3 8 vinyl hose on that. Outlet is vinyl hose. It goes to a garden spray nozzle with various settings, which is very handy. I've made a post out of three quarter inch PVC with a T, and this all goes in the back of the shower. So that's my basic setup. Uh, let me show you how the shower works. Okay, so here's the shower head on the stand with the shower curtain down. I'll now put it in behind. It's clamped in place. Now I can turn on the shower. And to use the shower, we just turn on the handle. Turn on the airlock. There we go. So you lock it. There's your shower. The shower curtain frame is made from 3 quarter inch PVC pipe and elbows. It is secured in place with broom clips. The curtain itself is just clear vinyl and hung by shower hooks. Here's the shower floor with everything removed. Uh, the curtain is back just out of the way so if you want to use the toilet, the toilet's there and also made a little storage area in the back for toilet paper and that just stays up with velcro when you want to use it and comes down when you don't. The bonus of making a portable pump and nozzle for your shower is you can also use it as a pressure washer. That way I'm not even I'm using gray water I would have thrown out any There were a few things about that middle cabinet I just didn't like. The front door just flops down and it's hard to reach things in the back. I'm sure I can improve this. Here's that cabinet after modifications. When you open the front door, it now has two brackets to hold it in place. That way you can use the lid as a, uh, a small table as well. As far as the cabinet top, it's now hinged. It's hinged there, locking, locking bracket. And uh, I have far more easier access to everything inside. One other thing to note is when I installed that hinge, I also added a strip of mylar around it 
and siliconed it in place so if there's anything that spills on the countertop it's not going to go into the cabinet.